Hey, what's going on you guys? The Heath Carnes, and today I decided I haven't uploaded in a little bit, and I thought, you know what, what could I put up today? So I thought, why not make a return to my my favorite series and what seems to be my subscribers' favorite series, my Is It Real series. Now, today, we, as you see in the title and the description, we are talking about what has been since November of last year, November 2013, it was announced that there was an SOS signal, which is a signal for help, was sent, sent from another galaxy. Now that's right, I didn't say another city, another country, um, another continent. I said another galaxy. Um, I don't know the name of the galaxy. Um, you know, doesn't really matter. Um, but it was said that we received in late January of 1998, so I was seven years old when this um, signal was supposedly sent to, and NASA intercepted it. Um, supposedly, but they haven't been able to decrypt it until just this past November. Now, the question is, is first of all, is it real? Which is the point of this video. I'm going to give my opinion on it. And if so, what does it mean for us as people, for our world? Because it could change everything. Now, of course, I'm sure nothing will really come of this. Um, I mean, here here we are in February 2014, and this was um, brought to light this past November, and nobody's talking about it. It's not in the news. It's not on Yahoo News. It's it's not being talked about all over you know social media like Facebook and Twitter. So um, I don't think anything's going to come of this. But it's very interesting if you're like me and you like to know everything. Now, me personally, if I was told by my government or any government that it was true that they did receive an SOS call from the galaxy um, I think it's the galaxy closest to us and that's probably why we got it um, I really would not be afraid because I do believe there are other beings out there whether it's human beings on another planet in another galaxy which is a possibility and probably pretty likely um, or if it's actually like greys which is what they call you know aliens like for example actually let me show you for example like Paul would be considered a grey Paul he'd be considered a grey because he's grey you know so that would be a grey which a lot of people I think would freak out though um, a lot of people can't really accept the fact that we're really not the only ones out there, especially if we're visited by aliens. It shows that their technology is more, far more advanced, which would leave people believing that we're far more or less powerful compared to them. And that's probably a good reason why the government or the governments of the world keep it on hush hush because and understandably so I actually do agree with that with the government government even though I personally would like to know but unfortunately you have so many people out there that just could not handle it that you know it's best just to keep it quiet instead of making some people like me happy and the rest of the people freaked out but anyway back to this thing I don't want to get too off track here in the video um, it was said that in the SOS it's now they haven't released the entire thing but what they said is it starts out with the words help us and apparent according to the people that have heard and or read the entire message it says stuff like basically they have the ability to leave their planet so they they have they're more advanced than us and that they were like at the at the at the peak of their um, technology which means that they've maxed out what they've done which means we are not maxed out I mean for example we just got like the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox one and 
you know, and eventually we're going to have even better graphics than that. Now, these are people that are, are aliens or whatever that have got to the point where they have the best of the best that they're really ever going to get, which is what means that they maxed out, they peaked. And apparently they had the ability to leave their planet, but they just kind of, in a way, in a weird way, even though they're sending it on SOS, they've accepted their fate of being doomed by their, by seemingly their own nuclear weapons. And, um, uh... Yeah, so, uh, I mean, it's interesting. Like I said, there's really no proof that it's 100% true, so this could be a complete bullshit story, but the really, the big part of my question is, even if this pro was proven to be complete bullshit, which there's really no way to prove it, even if NASA came out and said, nah, that never happened, NASA's denied shit that's clearly happened, so NASA, we already know, are liars. Um, and phonies, so, no. Um, so my big question is, is it real? Is it possible? Oh, and the other thing before I move on. Um, they also said that the signal was about 80,000 years old. That's how long it took us to get it. So take that with what you will. Um, so my question is, is it is it real? Now, you know, I'm going to analyze it myself. You know, to be honest, I do believe it is a possibility. Like I said earlier, the government doesn't want people to know about it not necessarily just to be secretive they have their reasons and uh, I'm just like anybody else I don't trust my government really and because my government is very very you know shady and just along with every, probably just about anybody else's government um, and the people that run their countries but I do believe I understand and realize to a point why they keep this a secret so even if we did get an SOS, I don't think they'll release it. Like, you know, in I don't know where it is and shit, I, I don't have all the info on it, but they have a place that has satellites that point up toward the sky for in hope that they get alien communication. And there's like a series of different things that if, if we do, if we do co get contact with different life forms, there's like, a song in there and all this kind of stuff that we're supposed to automatically play for them for them to realize we're peaceful which doesn't really make sense to me because odds are if they're beings from another from another galaxy and another world the odds of them speaking English uh, it's just not gonna happen <laughs> they're probably gonna speak like yeah I don't, I don't know you know like South Park okay I watch too much South Park but you know what I mean you get my point you get my meaning um, where was I going? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, uh, before I have another... Before my head goes blank again, um, I think it's possible. I Actually, I do believe they probably have received signals. I do believe our government is very aware of uh, other world um, beings. I do believe that they probably even know, guarantee, that where these beings are. Even though we don't have the technology, at least we don't know. If we, at least we don't think publicly that we have the the technology to go to other world galaxies and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, <sighs> Sorry, I haven't been up that long, so I yawned. I think that's the first, one of the first times I've ever yawned in a video. Anyway, um, my opinion, do I think it's real? Um, of course, I don't have proof, so I can't just say, yo, it's definitely real. I'm a realist. I, I don't sit here and say, yeah, that's definitely real. You know, I don't sit here and say, you know, 100%. No, bull, no way it's fake, it's real. No, I'm not going to sit here and say that kind of shit because I don't have any proof to say it's real or if it's not. But do I think it's a possibility? Absolutely. Uh, I believe in aliens. I believe in uh, other war. I believe in, you know, life in other galaxies. Why not? I mean, there's life here in this galaxy. And there may be some being in another galaxy that has recording ability and has some kind of a video and maybe even has internet too making a video saying, are there other people out there? And they're referring to maybe the possibility of us, and we are here. So, who knows? But anyway, guys, it's a long video. I'm going to go ahead and cut this thing at 10 minutes. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, I'm not claiming, I'm not, you know, trying to persuade that the, um, that the story about the SOS is real. I don't need people coming on here saying, I just liked it because, you know, it was fake, or you have all these facts. You know, I'm not here... 
to be ed to be an educational channel. I'm here just for entertainment purposes only. I've said this in the past, and people just don't seem to get it. But I'm just letting you know. Even if it comes out that this is bullshit, that's not the only thing I'm saying. I'm just saying, do you think it's possible? Is it real getting the getting signals from another world? Not necessarily from greys and aliens, but from people like you and me. Are there people like you and me in other galaxies? Do I think there are? Um, I definitely do. I do think there's a big possibility. But I'm not claiming that anything's real or fake. I'm just being a realist, and the SOS signal that was supposedly captured by NASA has never been proven. So, like I said, it could be bullshit, but it was just interesting. I want to make a video and give you my opinion on it. So anyway guys, this is the Keith Carnes. If you have any suggestions for a future Is It Real episode, go ahead and leave it in the comments below or send me a PM, whichever you prefer. Either is fine. I always read all my messages. And of course, I will see you guys in the next. Peace.